Hi, I'm Susie with Firehouse.com, and with me today is Cheryl Horvath, President, International Association of Women in Fire and Emergency Services. That's correct, and I currently serve as a Division Chief of Operations for Northwest Fire District. In what state? Uh, Tucson, Arizona. Oh, that's great. Can you tell me some of the issues facing women in fire service in your organization um, these days? Well, one of the things that we're really trying to uh, work on, continue to work on, is having the dialogue of increasing the numbers of women in the fire service. We're losing some women to retirement, and uh, we're seeing some women come into the uh, career, but not as many as we need. And uh, so we're trying to advocate still on an international level for bringing more women into the fire service. And that's what the leadership conference was about this week? Well, the leadership conference was about that. It was about uh, some good training sessions on getting ready for promotion. It was uh, some workshops on legal issues and uh, some of those challenges that we still face. And I understand the associations come out with white papers in the past on different issues. Can you tell me about what papers are out there? Well, we recently put on our website a position paper on the CPAT, the Candidate Physical Ability Test, which uh, we advocate and, and support uh, as a good test for entry-level uh, firefighters. We are about to post a p uh, paper on uh, reproductive safety and some best practices, and we're also going to be putting some model policies on our website. For next year, we're looking at uh, addressing some of the retention issues that still exist, and so we want to do a position paper on how uh, fire chiefs can prepare their fire departments not only for recruitment, but then what are those things that they need to put in place to keep women in the fire service. Are you concerned that with the attrition and retirement in the next few years, or are you trying to prepare women to take those places of people to retire? Well, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, there's a lot of VOTEC programs and career technical education programs around the country, which obviously we support. But we, uh, one of the sessions that we had at our workshop uh, had to do with fire camp panels. And there's quite a few fire camps around the country, um, and these are young uh, camps for young high school women to basically introduce them to the career of firefighting. And there are also leadership programs as well. So there's a lot of efforts going on around the country to try to uh, encourage young women to look at firefighting fighting as a career. And you've partnered with Girl Scouts of America to do this? We have. Uh, we actually have a uh, camp handbook available um, that anyone, any Girl Scout Council across the country has access to. And so if there is a woman firefighter that wants to try to put on a uh, fire camp for young girls, they can get together with their local Girl Scout Council and uh, put on a camp program. Okay, and I guess with the tough economic times, um, you know, you're still trying to put the program or the camps on? Well, right, and that's the beauty of the partnership with the Girl Scouts because they have access to funding that specifically is for uh, building girls as our future leaders. So it's really actually a perfect match, and, uh, and that's why uh, it was important for us to get that handbook together and establish the pilot program that we've been doing the last couple of years in Tucson. Okay, so with the new board coming in, I guess you'll be working on a few projects coming up? We will. We have more position papers that we're going to put out for next year. And uh, while we're not going to be having a conference per se next year, we're actually going to work on a new webinar series and try to bring some of the training programs that we're known for, still keep those out into, uh, into the fire service, but present those in a webinar series. And this was a good idea to partner with IFC. This was a great idea to partner with the IFC. I think it increased our visibility for the organization. I know it has. I've had fire chiefs tell me that they did not know about our organization until they saw it in the uh, FRI program. So uh, we've also had an opportunity to sit with a number of fire chiefs this week and talk about some of the challenges that they're having with their fire department and uh, uh, asking us for our advice on how they can do a better job of recruiting and retaining women. So it's been a very productive week for us as well. Okay, Chief, thanks a lot. Appreciate your time. Thank you.